10 Rare Diseases That Turn People Into Superheroes We all feel irritated when a disease grips us. After all, nobody wants to be in pain or distress, right? Let's take the example of the common cold. Sneezing and blocked nose can disrupt your life for a few days. Ugh. But ever thought about chronic diseases that won't leave you alone after a few days? While most of these will make you pity the victim, there are certain diseases that look like superpowers. Hmm, at least at first sight. We see some interest rising, but we aren't spilling all the beans here. Stay up for the full video to know about real-life vampires. Number 10. Super Muscles of Superman How many of you are splurging on protein powders and gym memberships to achieve a muscular body? You'd burn with envy when we tell you about Liam Hoekstra, a kid who was diagnosed with myostatin-related muscle hypotrophy at the age of three. Due to this disease, Liam has almost 40% more muscle mass than others at his age, has an extremely fast metabolism and close to no body fat. In short, he looks like the Superman he probably reads about all the time. It is a rare condition and the people who exhibit it are normal intellect and show no signs of side effects. Now that takes your jealousy to the next level. Number 9. Free of worldly pains Imagine feeling no pain while delivering a baby through normal labor or getting tattooed without a single whine. Won't that make life so much easier? It might interest you to know that there are people who have their pain sensors permanently turned off. Okay now, they haven't voluntarily done it, but this superpower is the result of a rare disease, congenital analgesia. At first, you might take it as a boon. After all, pain isn't something we ever look forward to. But think again. Since pain is our body's way of telling us that something is wrong, people who can't feel it would be at risk of untreated illnesses. Are you scared now? Number 8. Who Knows No Fear A person who is not scared of anything, you'd call him fearless. If we say that such a person actually exists, you'd envy him, won't you? Reaching out to poisonous snakes as if it's child's play or giggling in a haunted house, it sounds scary to us. But when researchers failed to scare a middle-aged woman who had a genetic disorder called Erbach Weith, even after repeated efforts, they knew something was off. As a young girl, she had both the sides of her amygdala destroyed, which resulted in her knowing no fear. Is it all positive? The lack of fear has also increased her curiosity to touch danger. And you don't need us to tell you how unwelcomed this is. Number 7. Forget it not. As a kid while studying for exams, we have all wished to be able to remember everything that we studied. Um, this can actually happen. Don't be happy because this boon is granted to people with hyperthymsia only. This rare disease enhances a person's memory so much that they can recite in detail the events of a day of the past decade. A woman suffering from this disease was able to recall that she was wrapped in a pink blanket when she was seven years old. In case you see only the positives here, you gotta realize that these people cannot alter unpleasant memories and have to live with them. Also, they suffer from insomnia and stay tired. Not so positive, we guess. Number six, vampires are for real. All right, we don't mean to mislead you into believing that there are people living for thousands of years without sleeping. That would have been cool though, but back to the point. Hypohydrotic ectodermal dysplasia is the genetic condition that turns you into a vampire. You'd have a lot less teeth than humans, and those would be pointy ones, though you won't be sucking blood out of living humans, or so we hope. You'd even have fine sparse hair in addition to dark circles and wrinkles around your eyes. In short, the traits that would make you look like a hundred years old, the age of vampires we generally expect. Number five, healing like the Wolverine. Have you ever come across a person whose tissue starts to repair itself spontaneously after being damaged? We aren't taking Wolverine into consideration, but yeah, with such supernatural powers, the person would be a human and real version of this Marvel Comics character. Keeping jokes aside because this isn't a case to joke about. It is a disease after all. There isn't anything positive about this healing because it actually causes your joints to harden like stone and gradually you'll turn into a living statue. The stone man would eventually be unable to move because his second skeleton replaces his first. Nothing like a power in here. Number 4. The more the merrier. Is anyone obsessed with the octopus for its eight legs? Come on, you were. We all were. Wouldn't it be amazing if we had more than four limbs to go about our daily task? It'll quicken it all. What say? We did paint a rosy picture, a pat on our back for achieving this great feat. 
Anyway, back to the disease, where the person is born with extra limbs. In most cases, the extra limbs are deformed or shrunken, rendering them non-functional. They can be removed through surgery in most cases, but not everyone wants to get rid of them. Now that's because in certain cases, these extra limbs are functional and people love them. We really said that. Number three, werewolves look alike. It won't be fair if we skipped the entire clan of werewolves from the list when we already talked about their associates, the vampires. As kids, we were divided into two sides, being supporters of the two enemies. So here's a call out to the werewolf gang. So what is the most distinctive feature of these super beasts that you don't see in the human species? Before you jump on to their superhuman strength, we'll guide you towards their most striking feature. They are hairy beings. Alas, hypertrichosis only gives you a hairy body matching to that of the werewolf and not the strength, but if you don't mind the looks, rejoice. Number two, Daredevil's enhanced senses. Of course you know about the Marvel comic character Daredevil. So tell us what was so special about him. This superhero was blind and used his other senses to fight evil. Amazing. We kind of tricked you because blindness isn't a disease, but this one was worth mentioning, so we hope you forgive us. It has been observed that since blindness hampers one's sense, the people have enhanced their other senses to be able to function in the normal world. Now take us for example. We'd have a tough time trying to find our way around with our eyes closed, but blind people use echolocation to determine the locations of objects. If this is not a superpower, what is? Number one, God's gift of relief. Movies like Rain Man and A Beautiful Mind are fine examples of showcasing savant syndrome. Well, in the real world, this syndrome is caused by central nervous system disorders, which cause the person to display skills nearing genius in areas of art, music, and math. Big names like mathematical genius Jedediah Buxton, scientist Temple Grandin, artist Gottfried Mind, and numerical genius George Widener are all savants. An interesting observation is that while only 10% of autistic people have savant syndrome, out of the total population of savants, only 50% are autistic. Take your time to internalize this. Which of these superpowers intrigued you the most? Tell us in the comments section below. Subscribe to our channel if you like this video. And while you're here, check out our other videos and tell us what you think of them. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching.